Hello everyone, welcome to VMR Arena YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create VM templates and how to deploy virtual machine using the templates. So VM template is kind of a golden image. So you can convert on a frequently deploying a virtual machine, for example. So your environment needs a lot of Windows deployment or a lot of Linux deployments. You should have a, some of the common configurations like uh, uh, apart from the OS, you should have, you need some of the security related software such as antivirus, um, whatever the software or, or you need some specific settings which needs to be applied on your uh, um, virtual machines or uh, operating systems but if you want to deploy a virtual machines every time you install operating system manually and configuring and installing the other softwares is a painful task and it is a repetitive task right to avoid that what we can do is we can uh, you know like install and configure whatever required uh, install the operating system and configure um, uh, operating system security settings and install the additional software such as antivirus all these things in an one particular uh, virtual machine we can convert that particular virtual machine as a master image that can be called as a template here so which is something called a golden image where you can keep it and you can uh, continue to provision the virtual machines from that particular uh, virtual machine template it simplifies uh, your virtual machine deployment and it reduces a lot of uh, time and effort which you spend in uh, installing operating system configuring additional softwares and configuring uh, security settings or some of the security policies which needs which you needs to apply to the operating system based on your organization so all these things can be simplified using vm templates so here uh, imagine i have uh, one windows uh, vm which is win iphone vm01 imagine this is my master image i installed an operating system uh, consider i have uh, configured some of the local policies and i installed uh, uh, some of the you know like uh, antivirus software some other uh, vpn software whatever it is any software which is uh, needed for your organization okay imagine this is so um, so i am going to convert this virtual machine as a template so basically uh, there is two way uh, if you want to convert this particular virtual machine as template we have to power off or the another option is we can uh, select that virtual machine you can go to clone under the and there is two options as I said uh, when you select the template convert to template will be only enabled if you power off the virtual machine okay so if you want to create an another copy we can go to clone and we can say clone to template so this particular virtual machine will be staying there and I can clone another virtual machine which is a clone is nothing but I can take a copy of this particular virtual machine and convert that as a template uh, so here I am going to uh, use and uh, convert this virtual machine as template so I don't need a copy of this so I am powering off this virtual machine here right click power off okay so I have powered off let's convert this particular virtual machine as a template to convert that right click go to template now we can see the option convert to template is enabled click on convert to template click on yes so take some time yes uh, virtual machine has been converted to template it will not be visible in cluster host and clusters view to see that we have to go to vm1 templates view to see the virtual machine templates so under the virtual machine uh, view let's select vm1 templates view okay expand the data center under the discord virtual machine i can see the win iphone vm1 template has been created here so this is a virtual machine template you can see that uh, difference between a vm icon and a template icon it is completely different it shows something like a templates okay so i can uh, now i have this windows template which is created with uh, operating system install additional software install all my policies applied okay so now i can simply go ahead and uh, deploy a virtual machine to deploy a virtual machine you can select new vm from this template so you can click on new vm from this template so specify the virtual machine name here so let me specify win iphone uh, vm iphone 02 select the data center where you want to deploy click on next 
So select the cluster or yes where you want to deploy this particular virtual machine. Click on next. Select the data store where you want to deploy and store this particular virtual machine. So I'm going to deploy it in my ISCC data store. Select the data store and click on next. So now there are three different options. One is customize operating system. Another one is customize this virtual machine hardware. So and another one is so power on option. Once you deploy, yeah, we want to power on or not. Okay. So customize the operating system. Basically, uh, for example, I have my template which uh, which it has its own host name and uh, some of the, some of the uh, uh, you know like uh, OS specific information like IP address or something. So when you want to deploy a virtual machine from the template, we can specify a customization uh, image here uh, uh, that is something called uh, customization specification in VMware so we can give all the uh, custom information in the customized specification so we can select that it can read it in the next video I'll explain about the customer specification so if you want to configure reconfigure the hardware from different than your VM templates you can select that option customize my hardware so it uh, it will allow us to you know like uh, change the CPU memory increase the hard disk size if you want or if you want to add a hard disk one more additional hard disk uh, uh, if you want to change the port groups all these things can be uh, configured uh, reconfigured here if you select that uh, um, you know like a customized hardware that that can also be uh, modified once you deploy the virtual machine so click on next review all the things so the source template I'm going to use is win01 and virtual machine I'm going to deploy is win and vm02 so data store is specified which cluster is specified so it started cloning the virtual machine and it's completed I just move forward uh, with the virtual machine so VM has been uh, the virtual machine from the template Windows template has been deployed here let me power on this and we'll see uh, because um, we'll see whether all the things are configured here and it, it boots directly into the operating system so there are a lot of efforts here uh, has been reduced you don't need to uh, you know like install operating system configure uh, install additional software configure security settings all these things uh, which is needed for every operating system right so here it is the virtual machine has been uh, uh, powered on and it is installed with operating system and it also installed with all the softwares which i needed for my organization policy okay so okay the next thing is uh, imagine you have a Windows operating system uh, there will be a patches which get released every month right so what if, if you want to install the patches on the template right so it's a simple thing what we can do is we can convert this virtual uh, convert this VM template as a virtual machine to convert that you can right click the template and we can convert as a virtual machine then you can go ahead and install the patches whichever needed for your operating system and uh, whichever update you needed for your virtual machine can be just convert as a virtual machine select the ESXi host and click on finish it will convert your template as a virtual machine then you can go ahead and install whatever patches you needed update your uh, softwares which is installed on the template then again convert back that as an uh, template to start deploying the uh, virtual machines and operating system with the latest patches so similarly you can make all the changes on your uh, virtual machine and convert back uh, back and forth virtual machine and a template and start deploying it it, it simplifies the um, deployment process with the latest images and latest patches available in the environment okay I hope uh, this video helps you to understand what is VM templates and how to use VM template to simplify VM provisioning I hope this is informative for you please please do subscribe to the channel uh, thank you so much stay safe bye bye